Yo, what up guys? Welcome to Jacksoft to another adventure. So first of all, I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers. I didn't know there were so many Chata enthusiasts out there, but there you go. Anyway, so today I am here with Coach. We got 350 and we got a Chata enthusiast dog right here, $2. And we are here in Calusa. Why? Because one of the viewers, shout out to Marv, left a message saying that there used to be a chat town here in Calusa. So we're gonna go check it out. So join me as Jack's off to Calusa. Let's go. All right, so when I was doing research for Calusa's chat town, I couldn't find a lot of information. But what I did find though was over here, 8th and Main, this is where chat town used to be. And these brick buildings used to be old Chat Town buildings. So let's see what what's left here. So, oh, look, Generations Custom Embroidery. And then you have the Chinese word, Chuang Zhao Li right here. Or I guess, Chong Zhou, like, because it was Cantonese people here. You see that? Smile, you're on camera. Well, you two are on camera. And now they're reusing these old Chat Town buildings as financial services offices whatnot you have these plants we oh, got a moose here abercrombie Woo. let's see oh we got a plaque here the old chatan district see i wasn't lying to you guys in the 1850s many chinese people came to california a land they called gum sun or gold mountain so fun fact san francisco's uh, chinese name or in mandarin it's called zhou jing san the old gold mountain so that's where they got the name from so they were trying to find a better fortune and that's why they settled here so calusa is actually really close to marysville so i would assume that this town got prosperous because of the gold rush but according to research it was because of the railroad so who knows maybe a little bit of both but wow oh wait check this out guys so we got this thing that leads to the underground alleyways. Wow. So Calusa's Chat Town, like many of the early Chat Towns in Northern California, faced a lot of discrimination. So they had these underground tunnel system. They had those in Fresno too, where you know it's there to protect the Chinese people, you know, but also for them to do illegal stuff like opium trades, gambling dens, brothels, and whatnot. So this used to be the entrance to the tunnelways. Doesn't look like it's been used for a long time, but wow. And then right next to this one, we have a Chatown alleyway. Damn, this one looks really torn down. You can see all the bricks. They're all like <laughs> done here. It's very different from the Chatown alleys in San Francisco. But yeah, alleyway, I'm pretty sure they did some, you know, stuff down here too, some shady stuff, but all the shady stuff was done here. So one of the historically significant events that happened here in Calusa's Chinatown was the lynching of Hong Di. So Hong Di was a Chinese teenager that was hired to do housework. And the story goes, one night, he decided to kill his employer, and eventually he was caught and thrown in jail, right? But the lesson here was that the jail eventually was overran by a bunch of mobsters with guns, and they decided to drag him to Chinatown and lynched him, hung him. So I guess the lesson here is, in America, we think that voting gives us power, but real power lies in cash, and guns. Oh shit guys, check this out. I know for sure this is a Chinese building because of the Chinese words. And let's see how good my Chinese is. Liang Chen Ru Zai Yong Jing Cai. Ji Zi Den Tang Chang Ji Fu. I don't think it's a Mandarin man. What? Mandarin people don't make it over here. It's all Cantonese. Oh shit, my bad. So Liang Chen Yap Zak Wing Zun Choi. Kup Yat Dung Tong Sung Zap Fuk. Hmm. God damn it. Uh, 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 so what it means is people that go into this building get good luck after you like and subscribe. So yeah, that's my weird way of flexing. <laughs> but when you're not six feet tall, when you don't have six figures, when you don't have a six pack, when you're not six inches long, then you have a, ooh. Check this out. Old Chinatown district, see? Second proof that this used to be Chinatown here. So like I said, I'm not lying to you guys. This used to be Chinatown right here, guys. So another detail I want to point out, we have seahorses up there. I'm not sure what seahorses have to do with Chinatown. Although in Chinatown, you can find dry seahorses in like those like Chinese medicinal shops. And then, oh shit, over here we have a clam right here. So from what I read, there's a bunch of people called the clampers and they're pretty much like historians. They, they like to preserve like historical sites here in the American West. So. Maybe that's a dedication to the clampers. 
But yeah, a big clamor here. Shell, get your gas here. And we have the other entrance and it pretty much says the same thing right here. So yeah, good luck. Oh wow, look at that. We got the Cam Lee Center, the Cheng Sun Market. I wonder if that's a remnant of old Cha Town here. But what is this place? We got some art mural. Let's check this place out. Ah, so this is the front of the market. We got the Cheng Sun Market right here. It looks hella empty in there. You know when you like watch the song, the yeah, oh, yeah. It's basically how empty like. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see from the inside. I'm trying the best to cover it up, but you do see like the old produce thing, right? Like that thing's like the fridge. You got some shopping carts. This looks like it's empty before the. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty closed. Looks like they closed it down before COVID happened. And then over here, you can see all the shelves right here. Can you guys see that? So it used to be stocked with goods. What kind of stuff they have here? I don't know, but it's a huge market for a small child town, I guess. Wow. Newspaper stands. I wonder what kind of beverage that is. I don't want to touch that. Yes. <laughs> and then down there we have downtown Calusa. Oh. So a quick side quest. That is the old courthouse of Calusa. And based on what I read, it's supposed to be the second oldest courthouse in all of Northern California, I think. But yeah, old courthouse. Although not Chinatown, but it's right next to Chinatown though. Wow, so second oldest working courthouse in use in California. So yeah, right here. And check out that golden berry up there. Wow. We got more plaques here. So definitely, I think this is one of the attractions here in Calusa. It's a very small town. So there's really not much to check out here unless you're a Chattown enthusiast or if you're an old courthouse enthusiast. And I'm sure there's other stuff too, but you know. And since we're here, and we probably will never come back here, why don't you go check out like the main street real quick? It's a very small street. So let's see. Two dollars leading away for our downtown adventures. Chinese Yo, Dragon Island Chinese restaurant. Yo. Wow. Too bad they're not open or else we I know coach wants to try some Chinese food here, but let's see. Law offices. We got Iglesia de Dios, Saeta de Salvacion, which is like a church or something, right? Look like they're old movie theater that's becoming a church. Hola, is Jesus aquí? No, no aquí. All right, so look at this. 1892. This does not look like a child town, but you know, old building enthusiasts. Wow, it's crazy. And look at all these shops here. This looks like the 1800s too, the late 1800s, all the saloons and stuff, you know? You got, what is this? It's Sportsman's Club and you got a flying duck right here. Oh yeah. What about 2010? What about 2012 though? Yeah. Check it out guys. Old Calusa right here. Wow. Nice. Wow, this is totally random, but wow, look at that shield right there. The Battle of Highway 20. So yeah, we started off all the way over there and then Old Chinatown used to be from there all the way down here. But as you can see, right here, it's very modernized. There's no longer any Chinatown stuff here. But we have a Ford dealership here. So this is what Chinatown has become, a Ford dealership. Well, I wonder what this building is, the Tin House. There's a plaque here, let's go, let's go see what this is. Now, Tin can be a Chinese name, but I doubt it. I doubt this building is a Chinese building. So let's see. The Adelaide Ryerson House. Wow. So yeah, if you're a house enthusiast, check this place out. And once again, on these plaques, you see this, the e clampus vitus. Those are the clampers. And like I said, I don't know too much about them, but they preserve history, so yeah. Or 
is kind of across is kind of across the street right here, mm -hmm. and this is on the corner. We saw that. We we're wondering what this meant. Yeah, the yeah. I O O F. What's it say? We call it the Odd Fellows Building. Odd Fellows. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. But that awesome. that you should get it. You should see if you can get one. It's very informative. Wow. Well, so they also had a Japantown here. Uh huh. Wow. They're they're um. There is a family here, last name's Yashimura. The mm -hmm. lady's about 100 years old. Wow. And um, yes, very, very nice people. Wow. Well, thanks for sharing this for, with us. Oh, absolutely. Wow. You can stand here and look at it. <laughs> Maybe just for a little or bit. You can sit, sit out back. There's two chairs, lawn chairs <laughs> back there. You can sit there. So here you go, Old Child Town District. Wow. That's still, that's it's still, still there. there, wow. The Hinoki Clinic. So yeah, there used to be a Japanese or Japan town here. Wow. Kalusa Town Hall. So yeah. So guys, a lot of the stuff we see in this book we saw earlier in our little walk. And then back in the... Patty, thank you for showing us this and oh, thank you for this. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. All right. Thank you. See ya. So that's the tin house. Um, wasn't expecting <laughs> it to be Chinatown, but we did get some Chinatown and Japantown info. Wow. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for Calusa's Chinatown. I mean, there's not much left, but as you can see, there's a lot of history behind here. So if you're interested in Chinatown, definitely come check out Calusa. And also, there's this Sacramento River here. Look at the view here. Wow. And we have a boat coming in. Wow. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until my next adventures, Jack's off and Jack's out.